to our new reading. This reading is called What Door Are You Walking Through Next? So you guys see four piles here in front of you. This is pile one, the blue door is pile two, this is pile three and this is pile four. So choose your door and I see you at the piles. The timestamps are as always in the description box. And I'm very thankful for everyone who is on my channel. Thank you guys for sticking with me. My name is Purple. And yeah, I'm very happy. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. And I see you at the piles. See you. Well, part one, you chose this brown door. We're going to read what is written on that door. Let's see where I put it. I'm going to put it there. That looks good. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see, guys. First of all, I want to put down the cards and then we're going to interpret them. So we have boundaries. <clears throat> we have be spontaneous. Well, we have manifestation. We have the Ace of Swords, guys. Wow. <clears throat> and this card came out. I mean, that's not really a card of the deck, but this came out. And um, this is an extra card that Chiro Marchetti put in his deck. And I think it's, um, you know, the magnifying glass when you see things for what they are or you see things clearly. So I really wanted to use it because it came out. Okay, so here we go. Those are your cards. Pile one. So what door are you walking through? Um, you're walking through the door of manifestation. This is your middle card. And um, yeah, I think there will be an opportunity here where like an eagle you see you know this is like an epiphany and you take charge this is an action card this is a masculine card meaning that you will be spontaneous probably you know that you have an epiphany yeah and when you look closer you see the mask there was something masking this situation. I mean, this there, there could be obvious, like, you know, those are general readings. There can be so many um, different doors, you know, or um, so many different um, life situations that this could mean, yeah? But there was a dream that you were following. There was something that you really wanted to, to manifest. I see that here with all your heart, but you did not know the answer. It's like, um, you know, there were boundaries that prevented you from doing so. So you had to be patient or you, you still are patient. And the next door you're walking through is the door that you will be spontaneous and you will use the opportunity that is given to you after you see things for what they are. Okay, it's like you evaluate the situation in your mind and the sword card, the ace of swords, it's a mind, it's an idea. Okay, so I see what you're getting is an idea on how to overcome the boundaries, the idea on how to step up and make it happen, whatever this is. This could be, you know, could range from um, a new job opportunity that you did not know because there were certain boundaries that you... Um, you know, because of that, there was no manifestation of that dream job or, you know, <clears throat> um, communication with an ex, you know, <clears throat> after seeing the things clearly. So there could be different situation in each and every one of your lives. But I'm seeing here, whatever this is, this is dear to your heart. This is a dream that you really worked on, you really wished for it to happen. But you had to stay back, you had to relax, you had to, um, you know, you had to wait because there were boundaries. And now it's like you're getting in meditation or in sleep, you're getting some kind of epiphany because you're looking at the situation from a different view. You're taking a different view on the situation or a closer look. 
and you will see an opportunity there. And we have the eagle eye here. The eagle eye, as you look very closely, it's the same with the magnifying glass. And um, whatever this is, you know, you will, or the universe asks you to go through the door of spontaneity and to manifest whatever this is. This is very beautiful. Um, let's see if I get another card. Please give me one more card for this reading. Yeah, the queen of pentacles, the bear. Yeah, look, you become very strong. You know, I see this bear here that you're coming out of the cave. We see here the bear. It's like maybe after winter sleep, you know, maybe, maybe after sleeping on that for some time, you got the answer. And now a new dawn is coming. Yeah, and you will be very strong. You will be spontaneous. And um, yeah, you will just use your strength to manifest whatever this is, okay? So the door that you're walking through is the door of manifestation. And um, yeah, we see this big door, you know, it's almost as if for a long time, this door of your manifestation was shut. This even looks like a door in a castle, you know, from a castle. It's like a very, very massive door. So. There was no way that you, you know, you had to be strong in order to go through that door, in order to, um, you know, break that door down. You have to be at a bear, otherwise you would not get through this door if it's closed, okay? So what I'm seeing is um, you're getting stre the strength and the idea to um, really break through that door, to really make it happen, to um, cross the boundary and to make your manifestation happening, okay? And let's see what it says. It says morning memory. Its healing gift runs runs a destined course, the morning dawn, our inspired source. Meditate under the sun. So we have also meditation here, but at night. And it says meditate, and here we have the magician making it happen. Yeah. So and I'm I'm seeing here with this morning that there's a new morning breaking through after you're getting the signs from spirit on how to overcome that boundary, on how to overcome that door. Because I think you need you needed to gain a lot of strength and that's what you did in this um, break that you had. You gained a lot of strength and I think it's connected to a workplace situation, maybe to, um, yeah, to a race or to, you know, stepping up in your job. This could be really um, applying to this because we have the Queen of Stones here. But also the Queen of Stones, we know, you know, is the Queen of Pentacles and she's sitting there holding her pentacle. And I always see the pentacle as this um, manifesting wish of yours, like this big pentacle, this big wish that you're having. Yeah. And this will happen for you soon. So it's a very, very beautiful reading. So I'm really happy that you're walking through the store next and I wish you all the best guys. I see you. Bye. Hello, part two. <laughs> part two. You chose that blue door with a star on the door. I mean, if you look closer, there's a star on the door. Okay, so I'm feeling here with this blue door that um, this is some kind of wish fulfillment. And we see here that it's like almost stepping out of your surrounding. Whatever this door is, it's um, you're going through this door. It's like an illusion, but not in a bad sense. It's something that takes your mind off of your everyday. It's some kind of retreat I'm feeling, you know, with the star in this blue door is refreshing. So I'm feeling here your next door that you're going through um, will be some something that feels refreshing for the mind, something that takes your mind off, something that um, where you can relax, where you can be happy. So we'll, we'll see how that ties into the reading. So let's open the cards. What door are we, I told? Oh my gosh. So that there's a new love coming, guys. Look at this. Or this person is a retreat for you. Yeah, we have love here. And I saw this with the door, you know, some kind of relaxation, some, some kind of retreat. Wow. 
Some kind of happy place. Exactly. We have friendship here. <clears throat> we have innocence. Wow, this is very beautiful. Yes. We have the fool here. Wow. Yeah, look at this. It's like being happy, you know, following your gut, trying something new, um, colorful. Look how colorful the fool is. Being a fool. And the nine of wands. Exactly. I'm feeling this is your energy. That's how you're feeling, you know. If we look at the door, everything behind the door is colorful i'm feeling and everything what we're looking where we are standing right now is the nine of wands energy the wounded warrior energy you know the energy of constant fight the energy of um a life right now where you have to be really strong where you have all these responsibilities and you're fighting and you know some maybe some people even told you why don't you give up on fighting for that and for that, this could be many different things, you know. It could be that you're fighting for love, that you're, um, you know, that this is um, someone that left you. And, you know, you're still wanting to be with that person because they are your star. And the memories behind the door are your retreat. They make, you know, the colorful memory that makes you hanging tough, you know. What I'm also seeing is... Some people are holding on to a very harsh life, um, you know, being single because the nine, number nine always speaks of um, being strong on your own, being single, having to deal with all the responsibilities on your own count. So what I'm seeing here is that you are fighting this alone for a long time. Yeah, it could be. Well, if you were in a relationship, you felt alone in this relationship. Yeah, it was not satisfying anymore. But you held on for the sake of it. Yeah. And I'm feeling here that um, this energy, <clears throat> the universe wants that you get yourself out of this energy. And that's why they sent you this blue door that you will be walking through. And this door is the door of giving yourself love. Look at this. I mean, if we look at this card, these cards, that's like she's caring for herself. That's self-love, mostly, in most cases. So whatever this retreat is, you're walking through a door of retreat or you recently walked through this door where you find your happiness, where you find a retreat, you know. Um, what I'm also feeling is, you know, when once you, um, once you enter the world of BTS, you know, that's exactly this door. The door with a star because you're walking into this very innocent place where everything is colorful and you feel like a fool being so happy it's exactly what i have here you know it's like this retreat of your of this life of the hardships in your life and you're feeling like a clown you know you're like oh my gosh you know you're going down the loophole and you're watching all these videos and you're making a lot of new friends here with a friendship card and you feel this pure, innocent love in yourself. And that's how you begin to love yourself. I'm feeling here, whatever you're walking through is a retreat from your daily struggles, from you being a wounded warrior, you not giving up. And whatever this retreat is, where you're walking through, um, it could also be that a new friendship is coming into your life or that a friendship is turning into love, but you were innocent, you were never thinking of this, you know. But whatever is happening, you know, this could be so many different things. Yeah, for some of you, you become BTS ARMY. For some of you, you find a new love. For some of you, you find new friends and you begin to love yourself more. Whatever this is, good times are coming, guys. Happiness is coming and you're feeling like a fool, you know. I'm, I'm, this fool energy becomes through very strong. It's like, you know, maybe people even tell you, well, What's going on? You know, what, what is this? Um, why are you so happy recently? What are you doing? And then you're saying, well, I'm going to concerts, you know, and people say, well, are you a fool? You know, what are you doing? You know, but you're walking through the store of enjoyment. You're walking through the store of caring, not anymore for others so much. Yes, you still do that. But this door is a retreat in order to find yourself again. And this is very, very beautiful to see. 
So, um, yeah, let's get one more card. So we want one more card for pile two. What door are they walking through? What door are they walking through next? What is this blue door all about? Okay, there we go. This was coming through. And again, we have dedication. Yes, look at this. It's like you manifested this door into re your reality. Yeah, we have the um, the bow and the arrow here. Um, you could be a Sagittarius, yes, but I'm seeing here. Um, this is, you know, you see all these different, um, you know, swords that are flying into different directions. And she is rather unhappy with the situation. So I'm feeling here with this one arrow... You manifested this door because, and you tried before maybe manifesting this, but you were never happy. Maybe you tried out different things in order to take your mind off of the daily struggles, you know, and you tried, you tried many different things, but they all failed. They all failed because it was not the inner sense you needed. It was not the right doors. Yeah. So I'm seeing you manifested, you tried to manifest a safe place for yourself, you know, something where you can retreat, something where you can, um, you know, love yourself again, enjoy life again, you know, with the fool and the friendship card here and them dancing, enjoying and radiating from the inside out. You, you were not doing this anymore. And I feel here you've tried, you tried a lot of things because maybe other people advised you different things, what you could try out to feel happy again or to... Um, you know, maybe you also tried in love many different things, but the right one was never coming. And I'm seeing this door will be the answer. You manifested this. And let's read what is on the back side. It says the art of life. There's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance inside. Like, how is this even possible? Like, I have not looked at um, these cards, guys. I'm reading it right now. It says, let your love dance inside. So this is exactly what you're manifesting. The art of life is also to have a safe place where you can retreat. And all the struggle and all the daily things that we have to go through, you know, and this could be different in each and every one of your lives. But yeah, you see here, everyone needs a retreat and you will manifest your retreat where you can be yourself again. Very beautiful. Okay. So that's all what I'm having. Bye, guys. Hello, part three. So you chose this door. Um, I'm feeling here that you're rising. Yeah, I see her jumping. So this door is, um, I'm feeling here a door to spirituality, a door to a rise, a door to illumination. Yeah, that, that's all what I'm feeling. I'm seeing the sun here. Um, you will manifest or you go through the door of that you ascend in some stage you ascend you rise something will go up for you and something you know with it comes a lot of happiness a lot of illumination um it could also be the light of a new day yeah that you will finally see where your path is leading in spirituality and you didn't know before so let's look at the cards guys yeah look at this i just said this and it's crazy because i have not looked at the card we have psychic abilities, so they are rising. I mean, look at these cards. That speaks of spirituality like really bad. We have strength. Wow. Exactly. I see a very strong divine feminine. We have mystery. Yeah, I told you. You've, you are illuminated. We see the sun here and we see the mystery here. Yeah. You were trying to find out where you're going. You're you're very psychic. You know that you're heading. Um, I know you're heading in some kind of yeah, on some kind of path where you were trying to find out where you're going because um you know you had you 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 had to be very strong, and you were trying to use your psychic abilities um to decode to decode the mystery of your path and i'm seeing you tried and tried and tried and um it didn't work but now you're walking through the door of 
illumination you're walking through the store of happiness you're very happy to find out we have the death of the old path yes that's a transformation happening okay that's exactly with the mystery card i see here um the answer are coming soon and there's a rise there's an ascension happening here there's um a rise on your path and ascension on your spiritual path yes look at this the star this is like the illumination the hope um you see i mean with the pouring of the cups into um the stream it's like her own feelings purify her so whatever you have hoped like you were following the star i mean with the star card i feel that you are following your star you are following your guides you have very strong psychic abilities but the whole path is a mystery for you nothing has come of it yet yeah and what i'm seeing here is with the death card that scorpio that's also a rebirth I'm feeling a strong rebirth. And doesn't it look like a rebirth? Yes. So I'm feeling, guys, that <clears throat> you're ascending a stage. You were very strong. You were walking this path. You had no idea where you're going. You tried um, to find out where your spiritual path is heading. Okay. And this could be different for many of you. But there is here an ending which is transforming this whole situation and um which is giving you new hope okay so you could come out of a really dark period i'm seeing also dark night of the soul here um something where you have no idea why this is happening in your life it was a complete mystery maybe um you know you broke up with someone or um yeah it's like oh you can see better um it's like you were not sure why this was happening in your life you know why this transformation was going on i'm feeling here that um maybe you were asking the universe you know my my innocence is lost um i don't know where i'm going why is this happening in my life i don't understand um you tried to see for yourself but it was very hard you know and what you're seeing you're walking through the door of um, manifestation yeah and we see here how the light because I changed the lighting up it's very interesting how the cage is is here reflecting in this card meaning you're coming out of a cage the death card is this transformation of you um, being stuck so I'm feeling here you were stuck in a mystery in your life whatever this is this could be different for many of you yeah you were stuck in a mystery and this comes to light you will see and you're guided with this star card i also feeling being the last card you will get your guidance that you needed you were asking for this guidance from the universe and you will get it yeah so let's see one more card what door is this that part three is walking through the universe i just want one more card and they say it's this one I'm not reading reverses, just so you know. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a soulmate here. So you're on the path towards your twin flame, towards your soulmate, whatever your belief system is. There is a spiritual connection that you have for someone, okay? The forest lovers. And with the forest lovers, I'm feeling that both of you are psychic. Both of you are healers. Because look at the clothing. Yeah, I'm seeing that both of you are healers. And um, for a long time, you were lost in the forest. Yeah, there, there is still a mystery around that whole thing. You have very high spiritual abilities. And you, you sense that you were walking into the direction of your soulmate and of your twin flame. But, you know, you couldn't see on the path. The path before, you know, was hidden. And I'm feeling here that the universe gives you the answers now. It's like it's time for revealing something in your, you know. And so you will ascend a stage in this spiritual journey with your soulmate or your twin flame. And let's read what this card says. And it's, oh my gosh. And it says, yes, okay. So if you have asked a question, the answer is yes. Kiss the crown and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and to fly. See? 
I told you, there will be an illumination. You will soar very high. You will be very happy. Whatever epiphany is happening here, you will be very happy about it. You get some answers, guys. Okay? The mystery is solved. So the door you're walking through, pile three, is the door of solving the mystery of your path. Haha. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? So that's all what I'm having, Pile 3. Bye. Okay, guys. Hello, Pile 4. You chose this door. And this door came up. And that's why I interpret these doors as well. Because they came up when I shuffled the cards. So if you look at this card, I mean, that's that looks very like an ancient building. Something that was built like way back. You know, this looks like what you could visit in a museum um, somewhere in the desert. You know, <laughs> I don't know. But it looks like a very old structure, a very old town, maybe lost in the desert, you know, that is discovered. So what I'm feeling here is that you discover something. Yeah, this is for me, um, like, you know, when they were in, in, uh, in Egypt and they discovered all the graves um, with the pharaohs. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing here that you are stuck right now. You're in the desert. Nothing is happening. You're missing out on something. And you will discover a secret. You will walk through the door of discovering something. So let's see what this is. This, that's what I'm feeling. The door of discovery. So let's see what you will discover, Pet 4. We have, okay, protection. Very interesting. So we have the world here. She holds the world in her hand. There's protection and oh my gosh, you will discover your life purpose. I can't believe that. I was just saying, you know, you're in the desert. You're you're feeling like, um, you know, when you have thirst for something, when you're in the desert, you, you have thirst. And um, I'm feeling this. I felt when I see this, I felt this thirst, this thirst to find water, to have feelings again. Because right now I'm feeling you're stuck. You're in the desert. You, you don't know what's going on. You know, discernment. Yes. Discerning the ideas you couldn't see. I feel here before everything was clouded and now you find the hermit. You find your light. This is amazing. And it's exactly with this hermit in the desert. I'm feeling that, you know, you retreated. You could be Virgo, but what I'm seeing is that you retreated from the world. Yes, the Five of Cups energy. You felt as if nothing was really working out, you know. Um, you felt as if you were stuck in your feelings. You were stuck. Um, you didn't find happiness in anything anymore, you know. That's what I'm seeing. You were, you, you're trying to find happiness. You're trying to find, well, what I can do? What can I do with my life, you know? Um, I feel that here with the discernment, you had so many ideas and every idea that you tried, it was not the right one. It didn't work for you. Yeah. And you felt very, um, you know, like in the desert, you're open to the sun to get burned. Um, you know, you, you need sun protection in order not to get burned. And I'm feeling that you walking this in this desert, not finding water because this is not finding water and every every water you tried was not the right one to rejuvenate you, to refresh you. So whatever this is, I'm feeling you were bored in your life. You were trying new opportunities. You were seizing new opportunities um, and everything didn't work out. You tried new relationships. It did not work out. Um, you know, you tried to be happy on your own with the hermit here. I see that you retreated. It didn't make you happy. It's like you're lost. You're lost in the desert and you were asking yourself, well, you know, why am I getting burned? Why am I walking through the desert without finding shade, you know, without finding um, protection, without, um, yeah, without be feeling happy because your life purpose was not here because you could not use the discernment to find that life purpose. Yeah. And the universe is saying to you, you are protected. Yeah. Your life purpose has something to do with the internet, with helping the world. That's what I'm seeing. And usually a lot of people that come on my channel are um, divine helpers. You know, you help to the earth to grow. You help others to grow. And as exactly with this tree here, you know, this tree couldn't grow in the desert because 
you know, it it's in the desert. And I'm feeling here you're finding finally the way out of this. You're finding with the th discernment, you're finding your real purpose. And it will happen out of nowhere. Um, I mean, if we look at the... Yeah, like a stream, you know, we see the hermit here like a stream. Um, you could not find this stream before where you can just flow with life. Everything was a desert for you. Everything was burning for you. Everything was a burden. I feel here also that you gave your best all the time, you know, like in the desert, you're, you're burning, you're on fire, you tried everything, you, you had passionate ideas for so many things, but everything was not the right thing where you could just flow easily and be happy. That has not happened. And, that, and that's why you gave it up because everything was more a burden what you tried than being your life purpose. And I'm seeing pile um, for that you're walking through this door of your life purpose next. You will find your life purpose. Can I see what's going on? Why is this door here for path four? What's going on for path four? What's going on for path four? What is the door that they're walking through? Okay, there you go. That was really clear and loud coming out of this. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> there we have the hermit, you know, your wish fulfillment. And look at all these cups he's having. He's like coming out of the desert. He's still in the desert. Look at this. He's still in the desert, but he has found the water that multiplies, the water that multiplies and he can be because look at the colors are the same. The hermit can be and wander through the desert. Yeah, maybe nothing around you is growing, but you find the cup, the water that makes you happy. You find your happy fulfillment while walking through this desert. Yeah, and this makes you... Um, yeah, it's like makes you protected. You see that actually you are protected and you can start your life purpose now. Let's read what this is on the back. It says birth. Another gateway appears in few. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. And that's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, a new life, a complete change of life. Yeah. Maybe you're still in this desert, but you're not walking around in this desert anymore and being burned. You're now this hermit in the desert. That's like a spiritual teacher to others. And it could be that, you, that your surroundings don't change. You know, you, you still walk in the desert, but you have found your purpose. You have found your wish fulfillment. And that's how you see this whole desert with new eyes, because you discovered the healing waters for yourself and also for others. So you walk through this door of discovering your life purpose. Very beautiful. Okay. So that's all what I'm having. Bye guys.